Hi YouTube, this is Anthony and I'm a Hong Kong collector. Uh, so today will be the part 3 on animation cells. Okay, so uh, last time some readers actually asked me on why, uh, what is the difference between Doga and what's the difference between Danga and how cells are produced, etc. Okay, the process is a little bit long so I will make it a little bit short is that uh, from we'll start from the ganga phase okay what's the ganga okay ganga is actually a process which is used it uh, before the animation production okay when you have the storyline and everything and then you ask the uh, highest rank animator to actually draw a draft of what it appears to be inside the show or a certain cut which we emphasize on like uh if a show is like for sailor moon okay there's some villains okay okay the show is about sailor moon uh okay killing uh, not killing okay attacking the villain okay and then make him or make her become good again okay something like that okay then the animator will start draw start drawing a draft and everything and then they will produce a ganga which we are going to see today like this one for a certain scene uh, the wonderful thing that you actually collect cells is that you actually can find a certain scene and there might be a little bit different Why would I say so is because this is a ganga? Okay, a ganga is uh, It's not the final stage of the process. So sometimes there might be certain changes which is made uh, When the show is produced. Okay, usually for ganga, there's a lot of different markings Okay, you can select, like see like for Sailor Moon you can see like Venus Mercury and then Jupiter Which is like a wrong spelling okay and moon and stuff like that Okay, uh, usually uh, because it's the highest rank animator you can possibly get during that period of time when the show is produced. So it's usually with the um, highest, I would say the highest quality, which is on hand draft. And then you can see Mars on the other page. Okay, usually when you see it on another sheet it's because that there may be movement for like Mars. Okay, so then you will find that uh, there might be like some movements like in here you can see like uh, for certainly like D2, D, I don't know what is it, okay, but you can actually tell that uh, Mars actually moved, okay, and if you have one more or maybe like more, you can see something else, okay, but this one is more simpler, okay, just a movement, okay, of Mars, okay, but everybody sticks still, so the process is the same and then you can see that there is other movements. On the other cells okay okay and another thing that sometimes you see like some backgrounds okay some people from the background and you see everybody is labeled and everything okay this process is usually only done in ganga okay so this is really high detailed and then sometimes you have a, a scene of some villains okay maybe like the fire there is some movements so you have a number of fires okay which shows the movement of the fire Okay, the movement of the fire. Okay, that's how it works. Okay, and that's about what we called about Ganga. Okay, so uh, when Ganga is used, usually uh, they will give it to different animators and then they will start drawing some drafts of some Doga. Another process of uh, which is very important in cell animation is that because you have to have the Doga before you have to produce the cell. And what is a Doga? A Doga is a sheet. That is usually used in a certain cut. Uh, it seems uh, when I talk about like that, it seems a little bit like uh, complicated. Okay, I would say easier. Okay, according to the ganga, uh, usually animators will lengthen it. Okay, into a longer cut so that you can s uh, see the whole movement. Like for uh, sometimes, like for ganga, you only have like a couple of sheets, and then even if it's a flip book, okay the movement will be very, very, I would say, not fluid, okay? So what makes it more fluid is that you can actually uh, make, like, if there's, like, five frames, you lengthen it into, like, uh, 15 frames, and then you can fast-forward it, like a flipbook. When you have more pages, okay, it actually goes more fluid, right? Okay, that's what I meant, okay? So Doga is the 15 scenes. Okay, the 15 frames, okay, and Ganga is the 5 frames, okay, that's more easy to understand, I think. Okay, so right now what I have here is uh, Doga, okay, so Doga is a little bit different, you don't, won't see any more or maybe too much uh, sketch, 
too much sketching or too much uh, coloring is because the most important thing is that they have to have the thick lines so that they can actually transfer it to the cells. Okay, that's very important. And according to what we called the cell doga, we would then be able to make what we see on the screen is the cell themselves. Okay, so after they color everything and then you could uh, actually produce a cell. And if you fast forward and have a, like what I say, if you have 15 dogas, then you would have 15 cells. Okay, you put it in the machine, scan it, and then fast forward, play it, you will see exactly what we see on TV. Okay, so that's the fun part. Okay, what I said uh, earlier, and emphasized a lot of times, is that you can actually get the original cop it's not a copy, it's an original art of the animator from the animator and it will show every single detail on the screen and it will only show more instead of less. What I mean is that sometimes uh, like the screen size is a little, little bit uh, smaller on TV it actually strengthens some of the details maybe like uh, you lose some of the uh, sailor's elbows or something like it's cut off on this edge but for cell, you can see the whole picture, okay? Even some of the missing things that you can't see on the a screen. So that's make what we make uh, collecting cells very, very special is that sometimes you can see something that is not on the screen, okay? Due to some limitations or still due to some corrections, okay? That's what makes cells fun to collect, okay? So, just to make it short, okay, you have the script, you have the storyline, a rough storyline, you have the rough sketch, draw by the, uh, drawn by the animator, the high rank animator, and then uh, it will produce a ganga, and then it will pass to the other animators to draw the dogas, combine everything together, and then use the doga to make the cells, and then the cells into the machine, scan it, and then it makes a show, and then if everything is successful, the studio dumped the cell, okay? So as I said before, cells are really limited because 90% of the cells is actually dumped it from the studio, okay? Because it wastes a lot of space, they don't have so much space, okay? It's in Japan, it's not in Canada, it's not in America, you don't have a house to put everything inside. The place is very small, and most importantly is that uh, even uh, during one particular time, okay, there might be like numerous animations in the process, okay, so it's impossible to keep everything. That's also why that most of the collectibles that we collect nowadays is dumped in the trash and everything. And most importantly, which makes it very special is that cells, if it is not in the best condition or mesh protections, it will completely destroy themselves, okay. So you won't be able to like maybe like find some very perfect cells in the trash, okay? Or maybe in the landfill, okay? It's impossible, okay? So this is also very special is that it is impossible to get something in good shape if it's dumped, okay? So keep the cells in the best conditions and don't waste them and they will be a price of gold later on. Okay, that's what, what I wanted to uh, talk about today. So if you like it, if you, uh, if you want to share it to your buddies and everything, okay, just share it, subscribe me, okay, and I will keep on talking about it. If you have any questions, leave it on the comment below and then I will answer it or even I, I may even, okay, get a video taped it just for you, okay, just to explain some theories, which will be more easier if I do it in recording or do it in YouTube. Okay, so uh, if you understand Chinese, okay, you can also read, uh, also watch other my other YouTube videos. I've actually done a dozen, okay, on cell, on different uh, condition and everything. Okay, you can just read it. Okay, so that's all for today. If you like it, please like, share, subscribe. Okay, see you next time. Bye.